I was surprised by how many people cried today. I was surprised by how much I cried today. Um, you know, I will tell you that um, I am very difficult to surprise because I am a gossip and I need to know everything about everything about everything and none of my friends can keep a secret. Uh, so when I walked in and saw, when, when I was there and these folks walked in with the purple balloons and a big banner and it was a bunch of folks who've been working with me since 2010, that was really something. And uh, I took a quick glance at social media during the meeting today and saw that people across the city have echoed that day in 2010 when they wrote Vote Nenshi on sidewalks with chalk and there are sidewalks across the city covered in chalk. Yeah, that wasn't very nice to do to me this morning because I was trying to keep it together. Um, but I'm deeply grateful, again, for people's support, everlasting support through all these years. You know, last year in July, we had the unprecedented anti-racism public hearing here at Council. And you know, during that public hearing, I thought to myself, I wasn't really surprised by anything I heard because it's my lived experience. But then I thought to myself, you know what, I'm old. And if 20 year olds now are going through the same things that I went through 30 years ago when I was their age, it means we got to do better. And it was an eye opener for me because I would have thought that over these last 11 years being in this role and working so hard to listen to people that people would have felt heard. But even then, it real, I realized that there comes a time when you got to make room for folks. And ultimately, that was the, the root of my decision to not seek re-election. I think that uh, I've made it clear, and I'll continue to make it clear, that this is a very serious election. And we have to be able to elect people who can meet this moment, this critical juncture in our history. And ultimately, citizens will do what's right, but I encourage everyone to not go for the easy solutions. Not just the, I'm going to cut your taxes and maintain your services, but actually to ask candidates, what is their vision for the city and how will they solve the very real crises that we're facing? Economic, environmental, public health, mental health, racism, equity. Uh, and ultimately, we need people who can do that.